All right, guys, this is some uh, homework examples from your 3.3 .3 homework. So 3.3, we're doing uh, measures of, of spread in data, things like the range, the variance, standard deviation. So this one's having us find all three of them. So remember, your range is your uh, smallest minus your largest. So if I'm looking for the range here, I need to find the largest number, which is a 149. Right, and I need to subtract the smallest number, which looks to be 121. All right, so 149 minus 121 is 28. So we have a range of 28. All right, and then the variance and the standard deviation. So if you're doing the variance by hand, standard deviation by hand, you need to go in and um, find the mean, subtract the mean from all these values, square those differences, add them up, but I, it's fine if you use, use your calculator or Excel for this. So I'm going to first show you how to do it on your calculator. And then once we've got it on our calculator, or down on our calculator, I'm going to show you how to do it on Excel. So in your um, calculator, this is the same strokes for TI-84, you just press the stat button and enter. That's our stat editor and it takes us to this screen where we put data in. Now if you happen to have some numbers in there, I'm going to throw some numbers in, um, just go up to the top, highlight the list name and hit clear and enter. That will clear out your list so you can put in the new data. Alright, so I'm going to put it in. Alright, so now I've got all my data in. Uh, I press stat, come over to calculate, run the one variable stats like we did in the 3.2 videos where we found the mean and the median and all that. Now I hit enter and if you come down to right here this is your standard deviation for a sample this is your standard deviation for a population okay now I'm gonna paste that into our our window here now I want you to understand this because this is a sample okay this is a sample of uh, data I need to take this one okay if this had been a population of data meaning if this were all the medical students in the world, or at least at this hospital, then I would have to use the population standard deviation. Okay, so you need to know the difference between the two. There's a different formula for both. So depending on the formula, uh, or depending on your data set, that is, uh, it determines which one of these you pick. So for us, the standard deviation is the top one. Oops, get that off there. So I want to say that's 9.1, oops, 9.92. Alright, now, the variance, the formula that you get for variance in your book is, or in, uh, in the notes that I gave you um, that wasn't homework examples, it's basically the standard deviation formula without the square root symbol. Well, if you're taking away the square root symbol, that means you're squaring it. So to get the variance, we need to square the standard deviation. So now we could do a couple of things. One, I mean, I could literally get a pretty good uh, estimator of it by taking this number. And because that digit's a 9, I could round this to 9.92 and just square that number. And that would give me a pretty accurate value of it but if you press um, sorry the vars button here the vars button takes it means variables and option five is statistics so there are statistic variables all of these one var one variable stats all these things are are variables stored under this st statistics thing and there's some other ones in there but right there is our standard deviation right there is that symbol so if I go down here and highlight it, 3, all right, and then I square that, now I get to square all of these digits, and I don't have to round it to a certain place value. Because again, rounding um, at the hundredths place when I could have taken more digits is not as accurate. So I square um, the value that the calculator has stored for the standard deviation, and I get a little bit better of, of a value, a little bit more accurate of a value for the variance. So the variance here is 98.4, but again, if you would have done it 
with rounding, you would have gotten something that's very close. I mean, very close to being accurate anyway. Right? And if it would have told you to round it, if you'd have rounded it, it would have accepted 98.41 um, just because of the fact that you could have rounded there. All right, now I want to show you um, how to do the same type of problem on Excel. So let's say you're doing this same problem. This is a similar problem. I mean, same scenario, different numbers a little bit. So you're doing this number, uh, this this data, this problem with this data set in your homework. Now you remember we talked about this before, but this little uh, block here means that you can copy this data set. So I'm going to click that, and it's going to allow me to copy it to a clipboard. And then once I've got it copied, I can transfer it to Excel. So I open Excel, Control V, paste my copy. Right, and then there's my data set copied into Excel. All right now, um, some of the things that I can do again, move this over so you can see. There's the sort button. I can press sort from smallest to largest, and then go back to my data set and there it is from smallest to largest. Um, a few other things I can do I can cl click this down arrow here get a sum, average, count, but then there's more functions down here. Um, there are a plethora of things that you can do in Excel. So um, the range, we're, we're told to find the range, the variance, and the standard deviation. So I'm going to type range, uh, standard deviation. I'll just do it in the same order we did the last one. And then the variance. So whenever you're in a cell, in Excel, you can type in a formula. And there's a lot of known formulas um, that, that are built in. So one of the basic ones is... Um, uh, for the standard deviation of variance. But the range, it doesn't have one because it's just a straight subtraction. So what you have to do to get the range, remember it's the difference between the largest and the smallest. So type in equals and then use your mouse pointer to click on the largest value and then type minus and then click on the smallest value and hit enter. So there's your range okay, for this particular data set. Now for standard deviation, you type in equals if I start typing standard deviation, ST, if you notice right here, STDEV, STDEVS, population sample, show up. Now, you can use, this is a sample, so you could use this one. But down here at the very bottom, STDEV, standard deviation, that's standard deviation for a sample. Um, uh, if, if it's just a sample of data. But this is the one estimate standard deviation based on a sample right? and then this is estimate standard deviation based on the entire population so if I just double click it or press tab uh, you then drag from top to bottom clicking and then letting go when you're on the bottom and then hit enter and there's your standard deviation okay and then uh, variance same thing just type in equals VAR will open up the variance options, right? Variance population, variance based on sample. Double click that one. Again, drag from top to bottom. And then there, there's our variance. Okay. Now if I was um, doing this with my calculator just to show you that it gives you the same thing. Alright, I type in the data set. Alright, so I got my data set in here, the same as this. Alright, I hit um, stat right to calc one variable stats that's where you can find your standard deviation so there's our standard deviation 6.44204 you can see the same thing here and then remember vars scroll down to statistics or just press 5 and then find your standard deviation for a sample square it All right, and then there is your variance 